Well, good morning, guys. It's Mr. Whitley, and today's lesson is from Monday the 27th. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have Hi, Quinn hop out, of the, hop out of the camera, buddy. Come we're going to... We're going to uh, talk about consonant LE, that last syllable type. And um, we're going to talk about breaking down some of those words. And then we're going to look at some math as well. So for a consonant LE, we know that... Oh, Eli, you're corny. you got to be nice and quiet, okay? Um, for consonant LE, we know that that LE typically it goes at the end of a word or a syllable, and then um, it often is combined with another type of syllable, okay? So like fable is our first word. So fable, we know is like a, a make-believe story. So we would clap it out, we'd say fable. We know it's two syllables. Um, with that two syllables, we would know that there's at least two vowels. A, we hear that long A, so we know that's going to be the first syllable because it's going to be open um, syllable. B, U. Now the thing is, we don't hear that L, uh, we don't have to hear that E with the L, E. We just hear the, the um, L sound. So we have we'll scoop the first syllable, so fable, fable. So we know that's a long A, so we mark it with a macron. It's an open vowel syllable, bull. That B, L is there. We don't hear that E, it's a silent E in this consonant um, type, no. so we, um, X out the E because we it means it's silent and we put an L E there and the same with tumble Which is kind of like a word like fall down So tumble we know we're gonna have at least two vowels in there T uh, mm. So a short U we give it a breathe. It's a closed syllable, which is why we hear that short U B -u. We hear that L but we don't hear that E so we X out that L and we put L E underneath. Okay? So I'm gonna have you think of a couple of those uh, words yourself. Hey, go see what he's doing, please. Sorry, we um we adopted a puppy yesterday. So we're gonna have you meet him in a little while, but needless to say, it's been a little more active around here, hence Quinn running out of my video. So anyway, jump into our 2D shapes. So we were talking about 3D last Thursday. Um, 2D means it's flat, okay? There's not that third dimension. Um, if you pick, it's almost like a piece of paper, you know? A piece of paper doesn't seem like there's much of a, a third dimension to it. It doesn't really pop out at you, it's flat. A 3D shape is like my eraser. You can pick it up, it pops out at you. It's like going to see a 3D movie, um, if we ever get to do that again, where the 3D shape kind of pops out at you. So last week we also talked about uh, what a vertex is. A vertex is a point um, on a 3D shape where we have the, um, the uh, faces and the edges kind of come together, it's that sharp um, it's that sharp point. Well, we actually have a, a vertex on 2D shapes as well. So here's our example. So a triangle. A triangle we know has three sides, and that's something that you guys probably already know. But these sides are these lines. So there's one side here, two sides there, three sides there. So as far as a 3D shape, I'm sorry, a 2D shape, um, the triangle would have three sides. Now, where these sides meet, that point where those two lines are coming together, that's a vertex. So, for a triangle, we have one, two, three vertices. And what I want you to notice is, 
with the amount of sides it has, it matches how many vertices it has as well. So down here, you're going to say, hey, Mr. Whitley, what in the world is that crazy long word? Well, it is quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. If you've ever gone out on like a four-wheeler, um, sometimes they call it a quad runner. A quad runner just simply means there's four tires on that thing. Well, that's the same thing with a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is any 2D shape that has four sides and they all touch and come together. So this one's a pretty obvious one. A quadrilateral, it's a, in this case, it's a square. So we're going to go to sides and say, okay, here's one side, two, three, and four sides. And then we're going to go over to this shape. Now, this shape is a four-sided figure, and it is a quadrilateral as, as well. So it has one, two, three, four. So both of those quadrilaterals have four sides. So we can say that's a rule. If it's a quadrilateral shape, it has four sides. And vertices, well, let's look. Where the lines meet, there's one point, two, three, and four. So four vertices on that square. And over here, one, two, three, four vertices on that square. So we notice, just like up here with a triangle, the amount of sides matches up with how many vertices that shape has as far as a 2D shape. And the amount of sides down here for the quadrilateral matches up with how many other vertices, or how many vertices it has total. Now think of some other quadrilaterals at, at home. If we're looking at this, if it's flat, maybe we could look at our book. We see there's a rectangle. A rectangle has one, two, three, four sides. So it's a quadrilateral. Um, it's a four-sided 2D figure. Uh, and so it's going to have four vertices as well. So think about some more words that have the consonant L-E at home. Think if you can come up with a couple of them. If you want to Google them, feel free to do that as well. And then go around your house and see if you can find some or even draw some flat shapes um, that you know the names of. Definitely triangles, definitely quadrilaterals. Think about those. There's more. We're going to hit more of those tomorrow, okay? In a minute, I'm going to read a brand new book to you, or at least a brand new book to us, and we're going to talk about making friends, because that's what we did yesterday. Talk to you in a minute.